Hello and welcome back. Before we jump into trying to solve CrackMe13, let us first examine the strategies that are available to us. As uh, you can see in this slide, there are three ways in which we can approach the uh, CrackMe13. The first way is the easiest to do and it does not require you to unpack the file. So in this uh, method, you will hide the debugger from the program using uh, scalar hide or other plugins and then you will create a loader using dupe2 and then you will patch the serial key in the process that is running. So this method is very useful if you are unable for whatever reason to unpack the file. So the second way is used if you can find the OEP, the original entry point. Original entry point, if you recall, is the entry point of the file that is inside the pack section. So finding the OEP sometimes may not be so straightforward. So in those cases where you are unable to find the OEP, then you cannot use the second way if you use the first or the, or the third. So assuming that you can find the OEP and then you will now try to unpack it by dumping the unpacked file and then trying to fix the IAT. And sometimes fixing IAT is not so easy. So if you are unable to fix IAT table, then the second way cannot be used. So you'll be left with first or third. But assuming that you are able to successfully unpack the file, then you can go ahead and patch the uh, file that has been unpacked. So this is known as file patching. And here I would like to emphasize the difference between process patching and file patching. In process patching, you are not patching any files in the at all you are actually patching the memory the ram memory and this is also known as runtime patching however in the second way where you are using the unpacked file to patch you are actually patching the file itself so what's the difference between uh, process and file process is where a program has been loaded into memory so before a program runs, it is in the hard disk and it is known as a file. So before a file can run, it has to be loaded from the hard disk into memory. Then only you uh, patch the process. So this is done using loaders. But over here, we are patching the file itself. We are not patching the memory, we are patching the file. So there's a big difference there. And um, the third method is the most difficult of all because the third method um, is where you are trying to figure out the serial key itself and it may not be so easy especially if the serial key is uh, generated using some complicated method or what is known as complicated algorithms so now I'm going to start off the next lesson by going through uh, the first method first and then we'll proceed with the second and third way in the subsequent lessons. So that's all for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.